Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you what you need to do before you sell, give away, or trade in your MacBook with an M1 chip if you need to erase all of the information on here. Um, and I'm following this off of support.apple.com, uh, so you can look that information up uh, you know, through the Apple website, uh, but I'm just going to show you in this video. I'm going to follow along uh, these steps so you can see it in this video. Um, so step one does say, should you use these steps? Um, and it has some information there. So make sure that you read through that. And depending, um, you know, on your particular situation, um, it may have a different process for you. Um, step two is to back up or transfer all of your files. Um, and you want to do that before you do this, um, because as soon as we go through this process, everything will be erased. There won't be anything left. So make sure that you back up all of your you know, pictures, all of your information, all of everything before you do this. Um, you want to sign out of iTunes. Uh, you want to sign out of the iCloud. Um, you want to sign out of iMessage. And for any other websites or accounts that you've signed into, make sure that you sign out of all of those completely. Okay, so the next step that they suggest is to reset the NVRAM, uh, but it says if you're using a Mac with Apple Silicon, you can skip this step, and um, the MacBook Air with the M1 chip that we're using, um, we can skip that step, so we don't need to do that. Um, the next uh, step says to unpair Bluetooth devices that you're keeping, um, so if you need to, you can do that. And then the final step is to erase your Mac and reinstall Mac OS. So to do that, we're going to come up to the Apple icon here. We're going to click that and we're going to shut the computer down. And we're going to go shut down here. And then once the MacBook is shut down, we're going to press and hold the power button here. And you just wanna keep holding that down. And you can see here it says continue holding for startup options. So we're going to keep holding the power button down and then it says loading startup options. And as soon as it says that, you can let off of the power button and it will take us into the uh, startup options menu here. Um, and there's two different options. You know, you got the Macintosh uh, hard drive or options. We're going to go to options and click that and then click continue. And it's going to take a few seconds here. It's thinking and it's taking us into the Mac OS recovery menu. Um, and as soon as uh, this loads up here, here we go. We're going to go to disk utility and we're going to hit continue. And then it takes us into the disk utility menu. Um, and if you come up to where it says internal and you click on the Macintosh HD or whatever yours might say there for the internal hard drive, um, and you can press the arrow button down here. Um, and it shows you here, you can, you know, verify like this is a 250 gigabyte, um, uh, you know, 250 gigabyte hard drive, and we can see that this is 245.11 gigabytes. So uh, this is the correct hard drive. Now, what we're going to do from here is we're going to come over to where it says erase, and we're going to select erase. Um, and then it's letting us know here, this is a volume group, a set of volumes containing Mac OS and user data, including the system volume Macintosh HD and the data volume Macintosh HD data. Erasing the group will permanently erase all data stored on its volumes. You can't undo this action. So make sure if you're doing this, you've saved everything that you need to save. That is incredibly important to do um, because as soon as this is done, everything's going to be erased. You also want to make sure that you have your MacBook plugged in throughout this process. Um, and you want to make sure that you have access to Wi-Fi because we're going to need to download uh, you know, a new uh, Mac operating system as soon as we complete this process. So we're going to click erase here. 
and it's letting us know to erase or delete the volumes, you will need to fully erase this Mac. This will delete all media, data, and settings on all volumes on this Mac. An internet connection will be required to reactivate this Mac and reinstall Mac OS. So as soon as you're comfortable with that, you're going to select Erase Mac. And then it's asking us again, because this is so important, are you sure you want to erase this Mac? All media data and settings on this Mac will be permanently deleted. This cannot be undone. Okay, and then as soon as you're ready and you select Erase Mac and Restart, uh, this is what happens here. It will uh, begin to erase everything on the hard drive, and this may take you know a few minutes or so. So as soon as it's done, I'll be right back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so it has gone through um, the erasing process and it's loaded, loaded us up into this screen here and it's asking us to select what language. Um, so we're going to select English and then press the arrow button here to go to the next screen. Um, and now it's letting us know to select a Wi-Fi network from the menu or attach a network cable to proceed. Um, so this is where we're going to uh, download, uh, you know, the new Mac operating system. Um, you select your Wi-Fi from up here. So once you select your Wi-Fi, which I'm going to do right now off screen, I'm going to uh, log into the wireless router and I'll be right back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so once you've logged into your wireless network, um, your wireless internet, it lets us know that the Mac is activated and now it's asking us right here, uh, we need to exit to recovery menu. So we're going to do that now. And then this is the next thing that we need to do. We need to go to reinstall Mac OS. Uh, Monterey is the one for this uh, MacBook and we're going to select continue and then it's going to take us into this menu um, and we're going to select continue and it's loading the installation information now and then it says select the disk where you want to install mac os um, here is our 245.11 gigabyte um, hard drive so we're going to select that and then select continue and then uh, we can see here uh, mac os monterey will be installed on the disk Macintosh HD. Um, and this will take a while. It just depends on your internet connection. It depends on whether or not you're wireless or if you're plugged into ethernet. Um, you can see here it's telling us about two hours and 57 minutes remaining. Um, so as soon as this is completed, I will be back and I'll show you the next step. All right guys, so here we are. It is all done and it rebooted to this screen here. And this is what a, um, you know, when you buy a new MacBook uh, and you open it up, this is the first screen you see. So it's just going to walk you through the setup process from this point forward. Um, and from here, uh, you would just follow on, uh, you know, the setup process to set the computer uh, up. So uh, if you don't want to set the computer up and you just want to shut it down, if you do the command Q, um, that will ask you right here, do you want to shut down your computer? Um, and then you can scroll down here and click shut down. And then the computer will shut down like so. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.